everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and today we're going to look at the T14, the American Tier 5 Heavy. Now this is a premium tank and not one of those on my favourite tick list. It's all bark in no bite in my opinion, but we'll get to that in a short while. That's what the beastie looks like. And it does look like a mean American gun-toting heavy. Let's have a look at these stats. Wow, look at that damage, 160. Rate of fire, nine and a half rounds near his damn it a minute. Penetration, 111. And that's with calibrated shells, by the way. Armor, pretty good. And the speed, not too bad for a lumbering heavy. But when we start looking at the more detailed stats, wow, it's got 750 hit points. That's not that surprising considering it's a tier five. Turret armor, as you can see, is pretty good, but the hull is pretty thin. View range, that's pretty low. I mean, 246 meters. Camo is atrocious. In fact, it really does have a poor camo profile. DPM with calibrated shells is 1,540 a minute with a reload time of just over six seconds. Your average pen, again with calibrated shells, is 111 on your AP, 133 on your APCR. Average damage is 160 AP, 135 APCR and 200 on your HE. Aim time, four and a half seconds. Depression is got a nice 10 degrees. And as you can see there, the speed is not bad. 31 kilometers going forward is the average. Traverse speed, not bad either, nor is the turret traverse. Looking at the armor, wow, it looks like it shouldn't be mean and thick. Don't forget, there's 100 on the turret and only 50 on the hull. And that's where it does struggle. Put it into Armor Inspector up against a VK301H, then you can see it's not a bad side scraper. And you really do need to go haul down in this thing. The gunner's gun on the hull is very wide open. The side skirts, well, they're spaced armor, so whilst they will deflect heat, they won't do much against your AP. It will bounce on the turret, but you can see the cheeks of the turret are pretty thin, and this is a vulnerability. It can add a push reverse side scrape, but you're still going to be able to smack that engine deck with HE like all American tanks. And to really maximize this armor, you've got to go all down like I'm showing you here. So, what's it like in game? Well, a lot of people rate it. I, for one, do not get on with this tank, I'll be honest with you. It, it's not a tank that we see eye to eye with. It doesn't like me, and I don't particularly like it. That's generally not the tank's fault. It's just one of those tanks I'm not keen on. And why am I not keen on it? Well, <laughs> it's actually got the second worst penetration for a heavy tank in tier five. The worst is the Excelsior, funnily enough. This is the second worst. And whilst it's got the best DPM of all the heavies, it's got one of the, and it's also got the third best damage, it's the penetration that really lets it down. And it's a typical American tank in that regard. And this is my main complaint with most American tanks. The penetration tends to be generally poor, the damage generally average, and the armor a bit hit and miss, so to speak, and excuse the pun. But this is where I say it's all bark and no bite. It looks tough, it looks mean, it looks like it should dominate a battlefield, but with the penetration values as they are, it's a bit of a damp squib. I mean, this thing, okay, you're churning out decent damage when you can pen, but you're not gonna pen everything in there in lies the problem. Okay, if you're in a tier five game, you'll struggle against some of the tanks. Probably won't struggle against the KV-1 anymore. If you're in a tier 4 game, you'll do okay. But if you're in a tier 6 game, like we were there, it will struggle to pen. And that is a problem, I think. And it's, it's a problem that needs to be addressed with this particular tank. 
it should have better pen than what it is. With that in mind, you've got to be careful with this thing. You've got to keep it hauled down. Your turret isn't exactly thick at 100mm, but it gives you a lot more protection than the hull at 50mm. And this is what you've got to remember. I mean, look at this, I'm going to struggle to pen any of that turret, so I have to go for the tracks. And this is what you've got to remember with driving the T14. If you can get it onto a ridge like this, you are in a good position to optimise what the tank can and should do. You're still going to be frustrated with its pen, don't get me wrong. But with the damage that it's churning out and with the DPM that it has, it should be manageable. You stick it in the open, however, well, that's a different argument. I mean, you're asking for trouble. You really are. Now, you'll see here, I've already bounced 570. In fact, I've bounced more than I've dished out. Mainly because I've been sticking it all down and only trying to expose that turret when necessary. Okay, I get a scavenger come along now, and I've already had some of my hit points taken away from me from the tanks over the other side. But I'm going to do my best with the scav. I'm going to try and angle my, my, my armour to him to try and get more bounces. I'm going to try and present my side skirts on a slight angle. I'm not going to bounce everything, but if I wiggle and jiggle, it changes and optimises the profile. And I do get to bounce just shy of a thousand. And I knock out 1300. This is a tier 5 game, so it shouldn't have struggled that much. And I only get a third class, but I did the most damage. Now, I'll be honest with you, as I said, I am not at one with this tank, and this tank is not at one with me. We've just never got on. And I've never got better than a second class in this thing. And this is a Patreon request video. So I had to roll out in it to, to see if I could actually get some decent footage. And whilst I'm doing over, you know, a thousand damage in this beastie, it's nowhere near good enough to get a first or even a mastery. And therein lies the problem. I just cannot do any better in this tank than I'm doing now. Maybe I need to play it more, but I find the lack of penetration so frustrating. I think this tank should be able to do more. And you're going to see how bad the pen is in a moment. I mean, the Excelsior has got the worst pen at tier 5. But where it struggles with pen, it, it does make up for in other quarters. Now, this is like the two worst penetration tanks at tier 5 dealing with each other. I managed just about to get the top of his tracks there which is penable in an excelsior but look at that i can't pen him other than that i'm trying my hardest i just can't pen him but on the same token he's only got small bits to pen on me so i have to switch it to apcr i have no choice if i want to pen him in that you know i don't like using apcr a lot of the time because i feel that you know ap should do the same realistically but as you can see there, it doesn't. And now I'm struggling to pen the BDR. Um, <laughs> it's just crazy. And this is what frustrates me in this tank. We finally clear those two. And, you know, it, okay, I've done 1,171 damage. Again, not setting the world on firing this thing. And I really do and have always struggled in this tank. It, it's it's to me this is the tier 5 version of the e5 it's a tank i'd love to be able to play better but I just don't get on with it we get three kills 1273 we bounce 320 and we get a second class for our troubles and again we're the top damage outputting machine now this is the last game on mines and i'm going to try and get to this ridge and use this gun depression to the maximum problem is the other side won't let me I see the T-34 I can smack him and these are the good points of the tank the gun depression is fantastic for this heavy and in this tier I mean 10 degrees is whopping you angle it the right way you will bounce as you can see there but the 
biggest downside is that pen. Everything else in on the tank is okay. I can manage the low damage output, which isn't exactly low. I mean, it's the third best, um, but it appears low because it's a big heavy. But I can handle that. I can handle the rate of fire. The thing that lets me, and I can handle the armor. The thing that lets me down is the penetration. In this game, however, I'm, if you notice, I'm trying to get all the shots in onto the soft side. You know, I'm doing my best to try and do that. We've done 800 damage already, and still I'm struggling to get, you know, anything meaningful. Stick him on fire, but he's got an extinguisher, which is a shame. Could have done with that damage. I'm now up to 1,300. Here we go, going to finish him off through the soft engine deck. Nicely done. Hetzers and T14s don't get on. The Hetzer doesn't like the T14 in any way, shape or form. The T14 loves the Hetzer, however. It's, uh, it loves smacking Hetzers till the cows come home, as you will see in a moment. That bottom plate is just beautifully, easily penetrable. So in the Etzer is struggling to pen me, then the closer I get, the easier it is to pen, and he bounces me again, poor little Hetzer, and I finish him off. I'm now at just shy of 1900. There's a KV1 left, I've taken three kills, bounced 380, dished out shy of 1900. The KV is behind a rock, can't really see him there, so I need to move position, because if I can finish him off, I think I'm in a good position to get a good medal. There he is, yep, 157, now at 1900 damage, one more and I've got, oh, but look, it bounces with that shocking pen. So, 1996 damage, I'm sat there thinking, at least it's a first. No, it is not, it's merely a second class. But I'm happy with that. We got 61,000 credits, um, we destroyed three tanks, we were by far the top tank in that game and it's just a shame that you didn't get anything more rewarding than a second class anyway this has been a patreon requested video so in the it was requested by jake 66 so i hope that's been useful jake that has been the t14 hi i've been fujit by all means comment and everything below if you haven't yet press subscribe it's a nice thing to do and it puts a smile on my face if you also want some videos done then consider becoming a patreon and obviously you get fast-tracked videos because that's what patrons are all about um, if you've got any decent replays send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my discord server where you can upload them a lot easier you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. So until the next time, guys, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.